Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival 27th year. I'm Tanya June Moore and I get the pleasure of being here with another filmmaker who has brought a full length documentary that I knew nothing about. Please introduce yourself and the film. Hey, I'm, I'm Hilary Pierce and I'm the producer of At The Ready. Yes, and At The Ready is a program in the Southwest, correct? Mostly the Southwest. Yeah, it's, it's about um, a criminal justice education program at a high school in the El Paso area, but there are similar programs throughout Texas and in other states as well. This was a, a real eye-opener for me. These kids are really walking away with some life skills. Um, what brought this to your attention? Why did you make this film? Well, Macy Crow, the director, um, was visiting a high school near Laredo, Texas, and she was kind of doing a guest speaker thing about uh, video production in a video production class. And in the middle of her um, you know, presentation. presentation, she is totally caught off guard by this cacophony in the hallway, looks out, sees these kids in SWAT gear uh, with fake guns screaming, and she's just completely taken aback, you know, what what is this? And the, the teacher she was working with was like, oh, that's just uh, the law enforcement uh, class. class. And she had no idea such a thing existed. And so she wanted to know more. And um, she'd been playing around with another idea um, for a film, but this just totally took her in another direction. And, um, you know, I came on uh, well after and knew she'd been doing some filming and, and was very intrigued by the whole thing because I, I wasn't aware of it either. Well, and like we were talking off camera about ROTC being a program that's very similar to this, but really it's the stories of the two people that, I, there are two individuals in this that you, I'm just rooting for, truly rooting for, and when you get through the end of it, you're just like, are you making another one? Will there be a follow-up, even a short film to this in a few years? You know, we haven't really discussed it because it is so kind of recent for us, but um, we stay in touch with the students, the, the young adults now, Yes. Um, and have been rooting for them as well and, and definitely plan on staying in touch. And, um, you know, if there there is a desire to, to see that, which I think it lends itself to, so I, Or at least a follow-up on the end of this one, mm -hmm. like five years later or something. Yeah, for sure. Because I would like to see where these young people go because they're all so talented and yeah. intelligent. So you've already had a screening yesterday morning. How was the audience reaction? It was really great. Um, it was actually really special because it was my first time seeing the film on the big screen. <gasps> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We premiered at Sundance in January, but Sundance was virtual this year. Mm -hmm. So I watched it from, you know, like a real my screen. laptop at home. And then yesterday, I finally get to see uh, the big screen and really like hear the audience and experience it with them. And they were very engaged and asked some interesting questions. And, and I think that's like what most filmmakers really look forward to is hearing that. Um, reaction and like finding out what people want to know and what really resonated with them so well, and it's a good way for filmmakers to learn about their next film their next projects like this is what's interesting these are the kind yeah. of questions that yeah we it's always good to get feedback do you have new projects in the work um i am in the early stages of researching a new project and i'm not exactly sure if it's going to be a short film a short episodic series perhaps a podcast um, but my last film was about uh, the border wall, border wall construction mm -hmm. during the Trump administration. And, and now that we're past that, I'm curious, and, and I know some, but I want to share with others what actually was built and what uh, damage it did to the environment, mm. to communities, to indigenous communities, yes, um, to wildlife. There's, um, there's been a, a great deal of damage done by the most recent construction. Yes. And a lot of that is still kind of completely halted in, in mid progress. You know, it wasn't completed, but they uh, blew up mountaintops and chopped down re really old cacti. Um, you know, it's, it's equivalent of having chopped down the redwoods, yes. um, as I'm sure Arizonans know. We're so very familiar, yes. That's, uh, maybe I'll be spending more time in, in the state because um, unfortunately, Arizona faced a lot of the brunt of that. Um, we sure did. 
that building. Well, good luck with that project. I would like you to come back to the Sedona Film Festival Thank you. with yeah, some of that. <laughs> we would love to have you back. Uh, we do call this the Filmmakers Festival, so we hope you enjoy your time here, that you enjoy these audiences. You have another screening when? Tomorrow night, Tuesday at 710 at uh, Harkins. Harkins. So at the ready, you want to catch this one. It'll catch you up on what's going on around uh, the border wall in particular, but definitely around the El Paso area. It's very cool. Uh, and thank you for being here. I yeah, really thank appreciate you. It. Stay tuned. We'll have another filmmaker up shortly, and uh, we ask that you please share this uh, these interviews around because these filmmakers work really really hard to make this festival incredible and we want their work to be seen thank you